The green light is on. Hey guys, welcome back to Zyka's Kitchen. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some super tasty pies. And the ingredients, well, we've got some beautiful snapper that we caught offshore. Check out this footage. Dead? Yeah. Don't pick it anyway. No, no, you're right. That's a snap up. Camera? Yeah. Yeah. Got color, Dan. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice snap and bait. That's a beautiful fish, man. How is that? Hey? Okay. Yeah, mate, that's awesome. Nice. That's a good fish. Good southern snapper. Beautiful. Woo. Okay, so we've got that beautiful snapper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a snapper and cheesy leek pie. All made in our $10 pie maker. How exciting. All right, so ingredients that we're gonna need for this recipe. We're gonna need some puff pastry. We're gonna need 50 grams of butter, 50 grams of flour, around a cup of shredded cheese, two leeks washed and sliced, some fish stock. If you wanna know how to make fish stock, there's a link above to a video that I've done on fish stock before, so check that out. And we've got the beautiful snapper that we caught offshore. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so first part of the recipe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat down our leeks. So we'll get them in here. Great thing about this recipe is you really only need one pot to make it. We'll get some garlic in there. Let's say about two cloves. So we'll get that going, wait for that little sizzle, then we're gonna add those leeks. Now what we want to do is we want to get some salt in there. It's going to draw out that natural moisture that's in the leek and that's going to help that sweat down. So we'll get some salt. And we're going to add a little cracked pepper too. Now this is like when you're cooking onion, we want that to reduce by half. So get that moisture to come out, let it stew. Then we'll take that out and get that into the fish bowl. Okay, so now that the leek has come down by half, you can see in there it's still got that beautiful green 
that nice fluorescent color. So that's the time to take it off. That has definitely gone nice and soft and that's perfect for our fish pie. So we're gonna take that off the heat and then we're gonna start making our velouté. Okay, so now using that same pan, we don't want to rinse that out. We'll just leave all that, that flavor in there. And we're gonna start on our roux. R-O-U-X. Not kangaroo, roux. So what is a roux? So we use butter and we wanna melt our butter. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flour. I'm gonna incorporate that together and what it'll start doing is it'll start combining really nice and start getting a really nice pale color. What is a roux used for? A roux is used to thicken our sauces. It can be to thicken our desserts, our velouté's for our pie mixes, our sauces to accompany our meals. And how it works is you put the butter in, you put the flour, and basically, as a flour cooks out, the particles of flour burst, they pop. And what that does is, as it cooks, it gets rid of that flour taste, and it actually becomes a really nice thickening starch. So, melt your butter down. If I was to let that butter go brown, it would be called a brun roux but we're not using a brun roux today because we're not using a brown sauce. We're using a white sauce, which is a white stock, which is our uh, fish stock. So we definitely don't want that to go brown and we don't want that caramelization through the fish, but yeah, just a nice, easy roux. So now that, now that the butter's melted, let's get our flour in there. You can work this with a wooden spoon or a whisk. I've always used a whisk when I make these. So you can see here, the flour is combined with the butter. Now we just want to turn that nice and pale. And you can hear the heat going in there. It's making like a little popping sound, which is perfect. And you'll start seeing the flour with the butter, it'll start looking like it's expanding. That is perfect. So when it goes that really pale white, like that pale color, that's where we're gonna start adding our stock. And we'll add that super slowly. Right after, we know that those particles of flour have let that flour flavor release, and then boom, we're making magic. So I'd suggest a low heat for this, not too high, because you will burn the flour. We don't want to burn the flour, we just want those particles to just pop. Okay, I can see that that flour is at the right stage now. It's actually just before that time where it's gonna start changing color. We don't want that, so now it's time to start adding our stock. So because this is cold, I'm gonna add about a third of the stock, and I'm just gonna get that incorporated like that. See how nice and pasty that becomes? If that stock was hot, that would have thickened up super quick. I start from a cold stock, because I'm not in a rush to cook it, but if you're in a rush, make sure that your stock's hot, you add it, and it thickens really quickly. Basically, as, this, as your stock heats up, that roux will thicken your sauce. So what's gonna happen is that velouté is gonna turn really silky smooth the more you work it. What we want to happen is we want it to start coming up to the boil. 
because once it comes up to the boil, the thickening process kind of stops. So we're just gonna bring that up to the boil, but what a key element is in this dish now is we're gonna season this and we're gonna make it taste nice to our palate. Then basically, we know that our sauce is right. It's just all our other ingredients that we're gonna incorporate. We know that the leeks are seasoned. So there isn't gonna to have to add too much more salt or pepper to this to really make that pop. Remember that cheese is still gonna go in there. So what we'll do now is we'll just get a little bit of seasoning in there. You see how that coats the spoon? That is perfect. Touch more salt, touch more pepper. But when that comes to the boil, we're talking perfection. So that is super velvety now, and that has come to the boil. You can see how thick that is. That's a perfect consistency. So let's move this over into the bowl. Okay, so now that we've got our sauce nice and thick, let's get that into the bowl. So that's in there with our leeks now. The next part, look how thick that is becoming. That is so, so, oh my goodness, the smell is amazing. So we'll put our cheese in there. Basically the elements that we're adding now, we want to chill the mix. So because the cheese is cold, it'll help chill that mix. I've diced up our beautiful, beautiful snapper. Um, and what I'll do is, I'm just going to add that to our mix now also. And basically, let's just follow all that together to complete our beautiful tasty pie mix. Ooh, snapper belly, like an off cut, like snapper belly in this recipe is perfect. It is super tender, but yeah. So if, if you want to utilize the off cuts, definitely snapper belly or any other belly of any fish. Cod's beautiful because it's got that beautiful fat content. What we'll do now is, we'll just get a cover on that. You can see that, that pie mix there is just, it's glowing, it's like, it's just beautiful. It, the smell is amazing. I'm gonna get that in the fridge. I just need that to chill for about half an hour before I start piling in these pies, but our puff pastries come to room temperature, which is perfect. Um, but I'm just gonna get this to chill and we'll come back and we'll get those pies made. Now that our pie mix has chilled, it's time for us to start making our pies. The beautiful thing about this $10 special is it comes with a cutter. So you've got the tops, and you've got the bottoms. So let's get cutting. Okay, so we've got our round here like this. Basically you just put it into the pie machine like this, and that's it. It's, it's super easy. If you want to have a bit of fun with the kids and get them involved, they'd love to do the cutting out and, you know, pressing. So we get these in here like this. Now, don't waste this stuff, right? Put that to the side. You can cut and mend and put it all back together. There's no reason why you should just chuck that. So put that to the side. We can use that again later. So now we just need to cut some tops, so the smaller end of the...
The pie machine isn't turned on at this stage. I'm just gonna start these ones from chilled. Now, you'll also notice I put the snapper in raw. Um, there is a reason I did that. Fish is super delicate. So by the time the heat gets through to the center core of this, the fish will cook. Just remember, we put that snapper in when that velouté was hot. So that did have a little carryover cooking. But I guarantee that by the time these pies are done, that fish will be perfect. So let's just spoon this into here. Spoon the mix in like this. These little pie shells can take quite a bit of uh, ingredients. So don't be scared to kind of mound it up a little. You see there, that's beautiful. What I like about this is you can use any off cut of fish for this. I'm just showing you this recipe because I had this at hand and I didn't really have any off cuts left of my fish. I've got to go back out and go and uh, see how we go offshore. What a shame. What a shame. Something to look forward to, I suppose. But we'll get this in here like this. Beautiful little pies. Right, so now that they're filled, we just get our pie tops like this, put it on the top like that. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Get that on there. On there. We go like this. Clamp. Turn on. We'll come back when that light turns green and we'll see how we're cooking. The green light is on. Just gonna unplug this. But they smell absolutely delicious. Like, look at those. Okay, so the beautiful thing about these pie makers is the pies just pop straight out. So we'll get them out. Just like that. They smell so, so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And that fish is cooked perfectly. You can see like there's no clear part. That fish is perfect. So we've got the beautiful pie done. Got our cheeky little photos. Just come over here, boys. What do you think of the $10 pie maker? Ooh. Yeah. I've had it before, Steve. Ah, <laughs> you tell the world our secrets. <laughs> now this is hot, right? It must be very hot. Right, so just be careful. It is hot, it is hot. Just make sure you blow that. Mm. Is that good? <laughs> mm. Is that good? <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, kids. High five. Boom. Boom. All right, guys, that's it for another episode. If you are liking what you're seeing, please feel free to subscribe. In any case, I'll see you guys next time. It's Ika's Kitchen. Peace out.